it, it was a, it, it, it's a mistake. Okay, 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 that's okay. Okay, uh, so let me just share my slides real quick. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Okay, that's good. Okay, um, so this is a session on uh, just actually it's an introduction to creating uh, or generally using Canva for creating uh, invitation cards or it could be uh, anything actually. So let's get right to it. So we, we're going to have a, a short introduction about Canva and uh, why it is, uh, why it is easier to use or the benefits of using Canva. And we're going to have a session on uh, how to use it, just an introduction session. So if there is any questions, make sure to just raise your hand or just open your mic and speak. Okay. So, uh, so Canva, uh, I believe uh, most of you guys already know it. It's an uh, online design tool that's used by uh, a lot of professional peoples and non-professional people to design uh, various things. Uh, and what, one of these things is uh, a wedding invitation card and uh, like any types of cards. So uh, it, offers, uh, it offers a wide range of uh, templates that is already made and which, which you can uh, just use. Uh, this can be used for invitations, social media posts, posters, uh, and in some uh, in some professions, you can all actually use it to show your uh, prototype, especially in the web design world. So, uh, so the key features of Canva are uh, drag and drop interface, uh, extensive li library that you can use uh, from like. Um, uh, like photos, icons, fonts, and templates, uh, and you can actually collaborate with your team uh, for real-time editing, and you can access it from anywhere because it has a web app and a mobile app. So the advantages, uh, the advantages of using Canva for uh, uh, creating a wedding invitation cards. Uh, the first thing is it's user friendly interface. It's easier to use. You just have to just drag and drop uh, whatever you want into your cart. Uh, and there are already made ready made uh, templates that you can use just to get started, or you can actually you, you use them right uh, as they are as they are and like uh, extensive uh, design options. Including, including the templates, uh, which are thousands of te templates, you can actually use elements like uh, such as the font, the image, the graphics, uh, just to make, just to add that uh, personalized touch to it. And it's cost effective. You do have a free plan, uh, like version, and of course you do have a premium or paid version so it's uh, so since you you can use the free one it's cost effective and as i have mentioned earlier like you can uh, work on the same project with your peers so you have real-time editing enabled uh, to work with your uh, colleagues real time on the same time on the same design and you can share links just as you uh, can do with uh, your documents and uh, work with others. And you can print uh, your final work or just uh, download it or email them di directly or post it on a social media di directly from the platform. So it's a uh, more easier and recommended platform. Okay, so let's get started with uh, Canva. So le let's uh, let's go through everything, Caesar, and just create uh, 
just the template from the template and see how we can share and so on. Okay, let me just share my whole screen. Can you guys see it? Okay, thank you. Um, so, so the first thing that we are going to do is just go to uh, the Canva site and sign, sign up and choose a plan. I think i um, already signed up on this uh, account. So you go to the canva.com uh, interface and site and you can just choose your account. Okay, since I think I already have signed up, but it's going to prompt you to choose uh, an account type, just plan, and you, you, you can choose the free one. So after that, uh, for this uh, like tutorial, let's use uh, a template. So uh, let's say templates. My network is a bit bad. Okay, so let's search, uh, let's say, wedding invitations. Invitations, you do have one here, but for wedding, I think it's better to write it. So here you have different kinds of uh, invitation cards. So let's just um, choose wedding, wedding. So you can have, um, so it's a mix of premium and uh, just the paid one, uh, the free one. So for now, let's just see the free one because we are not planning on paying. But you do have others, of course, you do have the animation one. Uh, since we're gonna have a printout, it's not going to be shown. Um, and you do have other uh, things you can choose from. So let's just apply to this one. Yeah, so there you have it. So these are the templates that we can choose and get started with. Um, yeah, so let's just choose uh, a simple one. So let's say I want to work with this one. So I'm going to choose it and then just Customize the invitations by editing the names, the dates, the venue. Uh, like you can change the colors, uh, the themes, uh, elements. You can just choose to include, to add or remove uh, elements, uh, add images and graphics and pictures. You, you can add the pictures of the groom and the bride, but I don't think that's. Uh, I don't believe that's recommended, but if you want to experiment with that, please do. And I can send shapes and so on. So um, let's uh, just, okay, this one is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change the name, right? So Kanye. Sorry. And so this is just um, a start so uh, you can choose the date and the venue and so on uh, you can actually uh, add other things let's say um, I think I'm going to add elements mm. let's add a picture of a flower on the corner so it's just uh, your personal touch and let's copy this one and add it actually here um, yeah on the corner just to match this one and you can actually upload their image if you want and you can actually uh, when you are writing you can use ai in order to help you uh, with writing, so 
uh, you can shorten it, you can make it look more fun and so on. So yeah, it's not limited to, it's just limited to your imagination. So you can do a lot of things. Um, so what else like, um, so we've seen how we can change the, so after the elements, so for the text, you can add a text box and you can move it around. Sorry. Sorry. Well, so you can just write whatever you want. and move, move it to the place you want and just add or change the font of uh, the text that you have uh, already had and so on. So I want to change this one. So, uh, so after you are done, you can actually draw, if you want, you can draw on it. But I'm not good at drawing, so I'm not going to try. And you, you can upload um, image from your PC, or um, you can search it, actually. You can search pictures of them and add it to the background. Uh, you can add, actually, these are, premium ones, but uh, so we cannot work with, with this one. So after you did your uh, like final touch, so you're gonna share it, right? So when you're sharing it, you have a couple of um, like options. So the first thing that you can do is just copy uh, the link and give it, give access to others to work with you. There's that you can copy and paste the link uh, and send the, the link uh, or you can download it like you can download it as a picture or as a pdf and so on so uh, that's going to be just a session or or a, um, a just introduction to how to use canva for uh, yeah, card generation, invitation card generation. So the tips uh, that uh, the pro tips that are recommended are to be consistent. So kind of consistency in uh, designing team is good. Um, they will check or always double check your work and verify that there is no spelling mistake or there is no um, there is no details that are missing or are not correct. And the last one is just uh, ask others for uh, opinion and uh, just to hear from them. So that's it uh, for now. So uh, the floor is yours. Anyone who wants to ask or to share, the floor is yours. Yes, Kitari. And then inshallah. Okay, uh, thank you very much for the session. I have a question uh, regarding the venue. We don't have the venue. Are we to come up with our own venue? No, uh, okay, we will pro provide. We will, we will pro provide that uh, in an hour, yeah. Hello. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we will provide the venue and the date, if need, yeah. Yes, Kitari. Uh, hello. Hello, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, my question is, are we creating one invitation card? That is question um, one. Okay. Okay, uh, are there any other qu qu questions or? Shall I answer this one? Okay, one, are we creating one invitation card? Two, 
okay. are we creating uh, cards uh, to be sent to specific people? For example, I, I create a card uh, to invite Kerod, another one to yeah. invite Enjala, or, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so the idea is uh, that you create for the tutors, for the four tutors and share it with them. And you're gonna share one te template uh, um, on your re report for Wednesday. But um, I think I believe I have to check with uh, I have to check and uh, include it in the challenge document. But that's the idea. Okay, so we are inviting uh, trainers from Ten Academy. Tutors. Oh, tutors. Yeah. Okay. So you you're gonna be um, share, sharing it with, with, with them. Okay. Then okay. Some uh, there's this point that is, isn't yet clear to me. Yeah, and yeah, it's okay. Um, I I will check and write right on uh, the channel, the Slack channel. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, Firam said, uh, as I have said, um, we're going to be uh, including the venue and the date. But actually, uh, I think the idea was for you to come up with one, but yeah, we can share. I think it's better we, we come up with our own. Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's better because uh, it's going to be a big uh, wedding and it's good for you to share to search for um a place that are, that can uh, like have that uh, like that can host that kind of party but okay um so uh any questions that uh, these are good questions um so are there any more Okay, uh, is everything clear? If it is, uh, show me some thumbs up and we find it essential. Okay, all these three people, so it's not clear. <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay. If it, if everything is clear, uh, let's, let's stop the recording.